Hey everyone and welcome back. As I said, this week we're going to take a closer look at the second painting of my triptych, The Darkness That Fell Upon Me, and I'm also going to talk about the story I'm telling with this artwork. But maybe first off, what's even a triptych? So this is a very short and superficial description. That should be enough for now. So a triptych is a three-piece artwork, mostly paintings, and it was quite popular during the Renaissance. You know, these big boards they put up on altars. Um, here are some of my favorite triptychs, actually. And there are many reasons why an artist might choose to work in a triptych rather than with a monoptique. <laughs> One of the reasons, and also my reason, is because a triptych gives the opportunity to subdivide your artwork into a narrative start, middle and end. So, yeah, last week we looked at my first painting, the start of the story I'm narrating here. So let's jump right into the story. This triptych tells the story of what I was going through, like mentally and emotionally after I got my MS diagnosis. Um, at first it was very hard for me to understand what was happening, but I knew that this diagnosis meant no good. So I was truly struggling with not knowing what MS would do to me, but knowing that it won't be kind. And that put me in a very dark place, like very dark. MS made me face demons I didn't even know my mind could come up with. And with that I mean I know darkness. My mind isn't the kind place to be, but when I slipped into this downward spiral, I knew something bad was coming, something I've never had to fight before, at least not with this intensity. So I saw the darkness approaching me, but I was helpless. There was nothing I could do to stop it. Now the second painting, the middle part of the story, deals with the darkness becoming omnipresent and you start to feel comfortable and safe. By now it's that familiar to you that you stop fighting it and just fully accepted it as a part of your life. And yes, it feels weird to say this and it's probably totally incomprehensible for anyone who has never experienced this, but yes, the darkness can be comforting at some point it becomes your new normal, and that's what this second painting portrays. So, now you know the first and the second painting, and the storyline of this triptych. Next week we're gonna take a look at the third painting, and there you'll find out how the story ends. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you again next week.